welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here i am novena so i finally got my lasik eye surgery done and this video is going to be about it i'm going to share everything in detail from the pricing and was the surgery painful and uh, how long did it take for me to recover and is it really worth it so i'm going to share all my experience in this video one more thing i wanted to convey is uh, this video is going to be in english unlike my other videos because uh, a lot of people from the north have been inquiring about uh, the the surgery like the costing and the experience all of that so i want to uh, help them as well so please don't mistake me if you click this video thinking that it's going to be in tamil like my other videos so by the end of this video you're going to know everything that you want about lasik surgery from just a normal girl who wanted to do lasik for so many years i am not an uh, ophthalmologist so before going into the eligibility of the lasik i just wanted to share my uh, story like how long i was wearing my spectacles and all of that so i started wearing my specs when i was in standard 6 and uh, i think i started with just point 25 or 0.5 only like in both my eyes it used to be like a bokeh mode so i used to see everything clear i could read i could watch my mobile phone everything if it is uh, within the 10 to 15 cm range anything beyond that used to uh, be so blur for me and it was uh, getting worse as i aged and one more thing is i started wearing contact lenses i think when i was in my 9th or 10th grade i know that is too early but i i started wearing and i don't know right now i don't know if i was you know even eligible to wear contact lenses at that point of time but then i started wearing and i was wearing contact lenses for about 10 years i would say on and off i was wearing contact lenses and for the past one year i was using colored contact lenses that is when i decided to get my lasik surgery done because colored contact lenses really irritated my eyes and i wanted to get my lasik done i was so desperate so this is my story Now let's get into the eligibility for LASIK. So I think you can get your LASIK done uh, once you are above eighteen, but it is better to wait until twenty one uh, because uh, you will have growth. So it is better to wait until twenty one, and I think even at eighteen, nineteen, and twenty and all, your uh, eyesight will be fluctuating. So your eyesight should not fluctuate for. Uh, at least one year if you are considering lasik so that is one important point and one more thing is they will check how thick your cornea is they will do a pentacam test and it will show it's like a mapping so it will show your uh, cornea thickness and all of that and they will check for dry eyes uh, there is a separate test for dry eyes and if your eyes are dry they will uh, prescribe few eye drops which you have to use before the surgery and after that uh, your uh, ophthalmologist will uh, test your uh, retina the, they will dilate your retina and they will check if your retina is normal and if everything is okay you are good to go you are eligible for lasik so what happened to me is since i was using contact lenses for at least 10 years my cornea was actually not uh, proper it was uh, not in the correct shape i guess i'm not very sure about the technicalities again uh, so it was not in the correct shape so after the pentacam the doctor was not able to uh, you know suggest the correct uh, treatment for me because my cornea was not normal it was not in the correct shape and the most important thing is if you're using contact lenses you shouldn't use your contact lenses at least at least 2 weeks before you get your test your pentacam test done so even if you're considering laser and even if, even if you're planning to visit the doctor you shouldn't be wearing your contact lenses not even a day uh, for at least 2 weeks so i actually did that i actually didn't wear my contact lenses for 2 weeks and i went for the test but still my cornea was not in the correct shape so the doctor recommended me to wait at least for another 2 weeks i took a full 1 month and later on i went visited the doctor and uh, they checked again and uh, it was normal so then i was eligible for lasik so finally i'm getting rid of my glasses so idu da one last time na vandu podren so hope everything goes on well wish me luck see you guys after this i was taken inside the operation theater and there were like two big machines so the first machine was the one i think that will cut the flap 
and second one is the la the laser when i went inside i was actually so terrified because i've seen lasik surgeries in which doctors keep talking to the patients but my doctor was like not communicating at all he was so quiet they just told me to open my eyes look at the light that's it they were not talking to me at all i just went inside the operation theater and i just laid down they took the those two i don't know what is that called clip or something which which you know opens your eyes and you will not be able to close your eyes so that clip was attached which is the most terrifying thing apart from that i was not able to feel anything at all for me they used a suction to hold my eyes in place and the laser created the flap so at that point of time you will not be able to see anything and after the flap is created they will open the flap and you will not be able to see anything your vision will go blur then the laser will uh, do the lasik process it will uh, cut your cornea or something like that i don't know i don't want to uh, terrify you guys but this is the process and after that they will close it and before doing the surgery and all they will use numbing eye drops and all of that you will not be able to feel anything there won't be any pain at all so don't worry about it you will not be able to feel anything at all first of all so it will get over in less than 10 to 15 minutes i would say so I, this was done and I, i i just came out and coming to the pain factor so i think it depends on person to person because when i when i came out of the operation theater within like 1 to 2 minutes my eyes started watering and it watered like at least for 4 hours i would say and they told me that it is completely normal but i think the pain factor is like totally different uh, from person to person because one person did before me in the same place and he got the surgery done from the same doctor he was like totally chill he was talking with his wife and all of that but for me it was like i show my eyes and i couldn't do anything about it and uh, they gave me painkiller so i took the painkiller right away and i started with the eye drops uh, from there itself and i think the pain was there for 2 hours uh, the third hour i came home and i slept and after sleeping like i think after 1 hour it was totally fine and i was able to see clear on the same day within like 2 to 3 hours itself so it was like a miracle actually so but my eyes were swollen i will attach that clip over here and the next day it was like totally fine and i didn't have any pain at all and uh, the next day i was like you know i was like so uh, i was so emotional actually because finally i'm able to see clearly without my specs and my contact lenses which is like a miracle for me and within a day actually i would say your recovery is like so fast so you will not feel anything at all only the first 2 hours will be disturbing for you apart from that everything is totally fine Now coming to the post care so uh, they obviously gave me these goggles i had to wear these uh, even at home i think for the first week i had to wear this at home and even when you're going out you have to wear this obviously and they gave me these which i have to use to stick it on my eyes and sleep because uh, during the night while you sleep you might uh, rub your eyes or do something like that so uh, just to protect my eyes they gave me this i will attach a picture of it it was so funny when i used this i had to use this for five nights and after that it was not necessary and they gave me a bunch of eye drops to use every hour so this is the lubricating eye drop ah this one is for the healing process i guess so i have to use this like every 1 hour and coming to the hair wash thing i would suggest you to wash your hair the morning of uh, your surgery before your surgery because after that for next 2 weeks you will not be able to wash your hair which is the most annoying thing in the whole world but you can get your hair washed in a salon or something like that where they do the back wash a water or soap mustn't go inside your eyes so that is the basic idea and you shouldn't wash your face also which is very very difficult you should just use some um, wet cloth or something like that to wipe your face that's it so that was about the post care after 2 weeks you can wash your hair 
and coming to the makeup thing uh, you are not allowed to wear makeup at least for 2 weeks uh, post procedure and uh, if you guys see i still don't have any makeup on my eyes uh, because i was not advised to use for at least 3 to 4 weeks so that is why i'm not using any eye makeup until now so all the precautions will be given to you by your doctor so you need not worry Now coming to the most important segment, which is the price. So I got my LASIK surgery done in Chennai, and in Chennai I inquired almost like five to six clinics. So I'm going to share uh, all the details with you guys. The first thing is there are different kinds of LASIK. So I'm going to share three kinds of uh, power correction surgeries which were recommended to me, and these are the uh, most common kinds of surgery. So the first one is called LASIK, which will be done with blade, and the second one is called femto, which is uh, bladeless, and the third one, which was recommended, is called smile. Uh, smile, if you see, it is actually flapless. Coming to the pricing, obviously the price is the biggest difference for all these three. So the price of LASIK, which is done with the blade, uh, it comes around forty-five thousand. and uh, i think it's it ranges from 40 to 45000 and even for 50000 i guess so this is the starting price of lasik surgery after this it's going to be pricier only so coming to the second type which is called uh, femto second lasik so in this the laser will uh, create the flap so that is the difference between the blade and the bladeless one so femto is bladeless so the price of femto comes around 70000 to 1 lakh here in chennai it depends on the clinic that you choose and the highest price for femto is 1 lakh here in chennai and the cost of smile is uh, around 1 lakh 50000 So these are the major uh, uh, lasik surgeries that are done and these are the pricing it totally depends on your eyes coming to me uh, I actually did femto my eyes were actually eligible for all three the basic lasik and femto and even smile and even there is another one called prk which is very painful so obviously we are not going to go into that and also doctor told me that it is not necessary to get prk done uh, your eyes are okay for uh, all these three itself and coming to the place where i got my surgery done i am actually not very comfortable in sharing that because this is totally sensitive and i'm uh, i'm very skeptical in sharing please do your own research there are many clinics in chennai and question your doctors if you have any doubt and only then get your treatment done and my final verdict is lasik is completely worth it uh, you can get it done because i got it done and i'm feeling really good uh, emotionally physically mentally all of that i'm i'm feeling really great so i would 100% recommend if you want to get lasik done and it is totally worth it because some people asked me it is really worth it or not i would say it's totally worth it i'm just thinking why didn't i get it uh, done earlier so but then yeah i finally got it done and i'm so grateful and i'm so 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 happy so yeah i think i've answered all the questions i received so many questions on instagram and uh, i have created this video keeping all the questions in mind so i hope this video was helpful if you guys have any doubt you can comment down below i will definitely answer your questions if i know the answer thank you for watching this video i see you guys in the next video bye bye